Mhm. Today we're gonna do some rabbit. Now the last time I made rabbit was probably about eight years ago. I made rabbit for Christmas, a uh, curry stew with some provision, and that was real nice. So seeing that it's been a while, I wanted to do something that wasn't too run of the mill. So I kind of conceptualized this recipe in my head for ruku stew rabbit. So of course we have ruku as one of our main ingredients. And of course we have the rabbit. So I have two pounds of rabbit here that I get from my brethren Ayo. So if you're looking for the rabbit link, I'll link his contact information in the video description so you can get some rabbit. Uh, in addition to that, we have you know, some shadow benny, I have some spices here, some clove, some coriander seeds, nutmeg, and that kind of thing. Of course, the usual suspects, ginger, pimento, onion, garlic. I think it will work. We're aiming for something real best, but even if we don't get real best, I'll go settle for decent. So, come with me. We're gonna go on a little culinary adventure here to do some ruku stew rabbit. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is make a little green seasoning for our rabbit. So I'm gonna use a head of garlic. And I will be putting this in the food processor, so it's just a matter of just taking off the skin of the cloves. Adding some pimento as well to the green seasoning. Just cutting off the tops. I just wanna give them a little rough chop. I'll also be adding some shadow benny to our green seasoning. And some people asked in the last video, what is shadow benny? Uh, it's a local herb or regional. It is a family to cilantro. So if you can't find shadow benny, you could use cilantro instead, or you could use coriander. All of them come from the same family, but the shadow benny has a lot more pungent flavor than coriander and cilantro. So you can use those as substitutes if you can't find shadow benny. I believe in either Singapore or Thailand, it is known as sawtooth coriander. So you could ask for it by that name or culantro. Yeah, so just cutting the ends off and again, just giving this a rough chop. All of this going into the food processor to make our green seasoning. All right, so I'm gonna add these ingredients into, I guess I should add the blade first right here. That would be a good idea. Okay, so I'm gonna add the ingredients into the food processor. So that's our garlic, pimento, and shadow benny, and I'm also adding some ginger as well. Adding a piece of ginger inside there. All right. Nice. That is our seasoning blend right there for our rabbit. Mm -mm -mm. It's gonna be real good. All right, to season up the rabbit, I'm gonna add some salt. I'm gonna add our green seasoning. Add in some paprika as well, and some black pepper. And now you wanna get your hands in there and just massage all the seasoning into the rabbit. Okay, so we're looking good here. So I'm gonna cover this, put it in the fridge, and I want this to marinate for at least one hour, but ideally you want to leave this like overnight so all those seasonings could soak in and penetrate the meat and give it real good flavor. So at least one hour, but ideally overnight. All right, to start the ball rolling on our ruku stew, I'm gonna add two chopped onions to the pot. So we're gonna let this saute for about eight to 10 minutes. And the reason why we're gonna cook this for so long is because I'm not going to add any sugar to the stew. If I caramelize sugar, then it's basically I'm making regular stew with ruku in it. And that's not what we're going for. We want to do a ruku stew. But a good Caribbean stew has that hint of sweetness in it. If you know like, you know, the, the flavor of stew chicken and that kind of thing, let's give it that sweetness from the sugar. So instead of adding sugar, we're gonna break down the natural sugars in the onions. 
going to sweat it for long, for the eight to 10 minutes. And that's going to add that sweet flavor to our stew. So let's let this go on medium heat, eight to 10 minutes, and we should be good. All right, so I'm just going to crush some coriander seeds to add to the pot using the broad side of my knife to just crush them. Of course, you could put this in a mortar and pestle and grind it as well, but just using a little shortcut here. All right, so now that we have some good color going on the onions, we're going to add the coriander seeds. We're going to add some whole clove and a grating in some fresh nutmeg. I'm gonna add our rabbit. Don't try to dump all the rabbit in at the same time because we try not to get any liquid in here at this point. I'm gonna try and sear off the meat before we add any liquid. Just to make sure that none of the liquid from the seasoned rabbit ends up in the pot. Give this a toss. And you wanna let this cook for about five minutes uncovered. So now that we have some good color going on on the rabbit, I wanna add about two tablespoons of ruku. We add in a bay leaf, of course, cinnamon stick, some vetsin or MSG. I'll give this a toss. And I think I could go for a little more ruku. So I add in two more tablespoons and I add in some water. Of course, with the seasonings that we had the rabbit in. I'm gonna give this a little stir. Gonna add our scotch bonnet pepper, of course, for a little heat inside there. And now we're gonna cover this and let it cook for about 20 minutes. Well, here now, you can tell it is a long time I make rabbit because I tell only 20 minutes and it actually take closer to 45 minutes, 50 minutes to cook. But 50 minutes later, and look how we look in here. Mm, mm, mm. Thing cooked down real nice. The meat coming off the bone. We have a nice thick sauce happening. Yeah, 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 yeah. I cannot wait to dig in. And look at the color on this tuna. Mm hmm. Yeah, man. I ain't wasting no time, you know. I ain't wasting no time. Let me dig in one time. I'm so excited again ahead of myself. Final touches. Some shadow Benny. Toss that up. As I say, I'm not even gonna waste no time. I dig in one time. I'm just gonna. Mm. Take a little tease here. Well, here now, this thing tasting like, and maybe it's because I lock up too long, but it tasting like lime food. Like you know, lime, and one of your partners decide to bust a pot, and you know what you put inside it, you know. But all you know is that when it's done, you're licking your fingers, you're licking the plate, you're licking everything, because it tasting so good. It tastes like it's made with love. This tasting like it's made with love. And people loving it. The love is the cinnamon, the clove, the nutmeg, the coriander seeds, of course, ruku, bay leaf, all that is love. So the final outcome, this ruku stew rabbit, trust and believe, there's a recipe to try. If you like this recipe, please give the video a thumbs up and give it a share. And if you do try it, post your photos, let me know how it goes, let me know how you like it, would love to know. Of course, a link to the full recipe will be posted in the video description. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.
Mm-hmm.